Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again just pointing out how stunning, how brave, how progressive the Conservative Party is within this country. Remember, they're only Conservative in name, <laughs> nothing else. And this story going around right now and everything along with it, the discussions just prove what everybody has been saying. Swella Braverman, a Tory MP, has come out and made some interesting comments about the progress pride flag the thing we see absolutely everywhere we must see it absolutely everywhere and it doesn't get tiresome not at all anyway this hasn't gone down too well with the lgbtq plus squared cubed subtraction division am i missing some things out there <laughs> i know i'm missing some things out there but i'm trying to be as inclusive as i possibly can i'm trying she also revealed that she couldn't get the flag taken down from the government department she was in charge of and again at the time that was supposed to be a conservative government now labor are in charge so as i keep saying thoughts and prayers please but it just shows you how liberal the Conservatives really are, the Daily Mail report. Swella Braverman slams liberal Tories who oppose taking LGBTQ plus progress pride flag down from government buildings as leadership infighting gathers pace. Swella Braverman has been widely condemned after she branded the LGBTQ plus progress pride flag as horrible and mon <laughs> monstrous. The former Home Secretary hit out at far, far too many Tory politicians who wanted the flag flown in Whitehall to show how liberal and how progressive we are. <laughs> Oh my word. Miss Braverman, who is expected to run for the Conservative leadership, moaned she was too enfeebled as a minister to get the flag removed from her own department. The progress flag flew over our buildings as if they were occupied territory. She added, I don't say this to boast or curry flavour with you as an audience, but to starkly confess my failure. I couldn't even get the flag of a horrible political campaign I disagreed with taken down from the roof of the government department I was supposed to be in charge of. Again, some of you, I suspect, will be tempted to knowingly say the blob, but it wasn't. It was other Tory politicians. Tory politicians. Great. Well, the progress flag says one monstrous thing to me, that I was a member of a government that presided over the mutilation of children in our hospitals. Yeah, so you can imagine why that hasn't gone down too well, especially with the um, progressive communities, but even conservative MPs have apparently condemned her. It just shows you how progressive as a nation we actually are. I don't think many people realise how insane it is, and the actions of these Tory politicians, who, what it seemed like, lock this flag from being taken down prove that we shouldn't be flying that flag on government buildings it's pretty simple i wonder you know if the england flag was being flown if somebody got offended over it because it's racist or something like if it would be taken down hmm who knows probably would but because this is causing so much outrage in the country because you can't say anything bad about this flag uh, there was a debate on gb news between the host James Esses, who does an amazing job on social media exposing the madness going down, and woke activist Peter Tatchell, who defends the progress pride flag. Let's get into it. Some of the problem's comments for me there were more of a sign of actually she wasn't in control because she wanted that flag taken down and she couldn't get it. Do you think she's right to say that it was like occupied territory? Uh, com completely. Uh, this ideology has taken over all areas of society and all societal institutions. I myself previously worked in the Home Office and I saw this operating throughout every layer of the organisation. And if you're in a position where the Home Secretary herself cannot row back on some of these regressive policies or this ideological symbolism, then what hope is there for a lowly civil servant just working in a policy role? Um, you know, and we've just seen Pride Month come and go and I think that was probably the clearest example of the ideological well, well, it's not come and gone if you take a stroll down Regent Street at the moment in London because it's still very much there. The, we've had D-Day during this month and uh, the Pride flag was up there and not, not the Union flag. England are in the semi-finals of the Euros. There's not a St George's Cross in sight, is there? It's all still very much the uh, the pride stuff yes i just want to interrupt there for those of you who live outside the uk and you've never been to regent street around this time this is what it looks like yeah what does that look like to you oh <laughs> a cult has taken over that is what is put on the highest pedestal all of those flags how many do you need Peter, what is the progress flag then because this is not just the rainbow flag is it it's the traditional rainbow flag symbolising the LGBT plus community, but it's also got additional chevrons on it to symbolise trans and bisexual people, black and ethnic minorities and intersex people. So it's trying to be inclusive for everyone. But I want to add a comment about what you said. LGBT people are not an ideology. 
We are human beings. We're part of British society. We have human rights. To celebrate our community, and indeed any community, is a good thing, a positive thing. It's not about imposing. It's about celebrating the diversity of British it society. It's an ideology, though, isn't it? To, to, it's not an ideology. Uh, well, let me finish. It is an ideology, though, isn't it, to deny basic biological gender rules. That, that's, a, that's a theory, isn't it? That's not biological fact. Well, well that's a separate issue. Well, it's not. You know, it's, 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 it's got it all on that same flag and it's hoisted above our government yeah. department. Yeah. yeah, everybody is human, right? Everybody has human rights. But when people are being indoctrinated to think, they are in the wrong body. Adults, children, that is an ideology. And it is a very harmful ideology. We are denying biological facts, we are affecting people's mental health. And that is what that flag represents. And we hang that up absolutely everywhere. Loads of them. The LGBT plus community is very diverse. And thankfully, most people in British society today accept LGBT plus people. They don't agree with these culture wars. They believe in respecting other people and human rights. The comments made by Suella Braverman could have been made by neo like the National Front or the BNP that, years a, ago. That's Those that's were true. so outrageous comments, and she's been condemned I by think, fellow I conservatives. Think getting, fellow conservatives. I'm going to start getting a buzzer, right? For whenever anyone brings up the Nazis when it comes out, anything any Tory says. We've got no, I said neo. I said neo. Can I? The National Front. So you disagree with that flag? You say anything bad about it, and you're what he said can't say it on YouTube, obviously. This is what they do to try and silence people. This is what they try and do to make sure nobody says anything bad about it. You get condemned. You get all these buzzwords thrown at you. And yeah, she was condemned by other conservative MPs, but they are not conservative. So I think personally we should stop calling them that from now on because they don't deserve the name conservative. Peter, can I say that's an absolutely abhorrent accusation to make. I'd just like to return some of the points that you made. I mean, it's, it's ironic that this is called the progress pride flag when actually it is a, a symbol of regression. Um, this flag is being used to justify the experimental medical transitioning of children. I mean, there's nothing more regressive than suggesting to young boys and young girls that if they don't conform to some of the sex stereotypes, that they might be trapped in the wrong body. And I've seen people from certain LGBT plus groups use this flag as a way to justify their perversions, including to children and even animals. They supposedly fall within this rainbow umbrella. Uh, so I, I, and and to, to accuse uh, Suella Bravman of, of being akin to a BNP member or, or a neon I think is an absolute disgrace. She is concerned about the safeguarding of children, the protection of women's rights and the protection of freedom of speech. Well, she, she, she accused her government, of which she was a part of and said nothing, of mutilating children. First of all, it is impossible for any child in this country to have gender reassignment surgery. That is forbidden. Just recently, puberty blockers have been banned. So the idea that children are being mutilated by this government or any previous government is absolutely wrong. It's factually inaccurate. That's not true, Peter. It's factually inaccurate. Peter, that the definition of mutilation is severe bodily harm that has a ruinous impact on somebody's life. Puberty blockers, which, yes, now, thankfully, at last, have been uh, prohibited, but have been for a long time in this country used on children as young as nine years old. It's caused brain development issues, bone growth issues. We know that children 16 years old have been receiving cross-sex hormones, some of whom have been left permanently infertile, and children as young as 17 years old in Scotland have been placed on waiting lists for double mastectomies. So children very much have been and continue to be mutilated. Yeah. And this is what that flag represents. But don't worry, don't say anything bad about it, otherwise you're what Peter Thatcher was calling you. You want to bring this down to the trans issue. Trans is just one section of the wider LGBT plus community. Some people in the community support your view, others don't. Most people believe that trans rights are human rights. There can be a debate about the issues about women's rights and women's spaces, is, 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 and I respectfully yeah. address that. Okay. I respectfully address that. There is a difference. There's two different things. There are well, women based on biological well, sex. I would argue there's another. There's a third thing actually, yeah. which is that someone we know who what he was going to say there was yeah, the Home Secretary, who was in charge of the Home Office, wanted that flag taken down and said she couldn't have it taken down because of a combination of civil servants and people within her own party. Do you not think that's a little bit weird? She's in charge. She's the, she's the gaffer. Yeah, well, that's up to her party and the well, Home Office officials to yeah. determine. Well, that's up to them. Who's in charge but, though? No, I mean, who's in but, charge? But, but by proposing to take down that flag, 
that would be seen as an attack and a threat right, against the LGBT plus community. There you go. It's taking that flag down. This is it, isn't it? Once that flag goes up, the second you want to take that down, you're what? Some kind of homophobic transfer, right? Yeah, I think we should stop there because we all know the answer to that. If you want to take the flag down, it is now seen as a threat. So if you want the flag taken down, you're a mean and hateful person. If you disagree with the flag, you're a mean and hateful person. Seems like they want everybody to forcefully comply with what's going on and what that flag means. Yet they always come out and say, oh, it's not forced compliance. We're not trying to make people believe a certain thing. We just want to be celebrated for who we are. And you must accept. But you condemn everybody for speaking out against it. People get punished for speaking out against it. They get cancelled. They lose their jobs. Now, that doesn't sound like forced compliance. Hmm, very interesting. And Suella Braverman's situation just proves that, doesn't it? She's come out and said a few things about the flag, which this debate is obviously centered around, and loads of people are condemning her. Peter Tatchell says it would be a comment made by a... Can't say it again. It's always the same with these people. Don't step out of line. Don't say anything against the narrative. You must accept anything and everything. And if you dare, and if you dare say one little thing about it, regardless of what it is, ah oh well, everybody comes out, the woke mob come after you. But leave your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this debate, what are your thoughts on Suella Braverman's comments, do you think she should be condemned, do you think it was horrible? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description, but until next time, it has been your boy JD, have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.